The West Zone, so places like Manchester, Chelsea, even out in Ann Arbor, you're probably seeing some brighter skies right now than you were earlier today. That's going to continue to move out. And as we get through the rest of tonight, uh, we will be looking at some areas of clearing as uh, we head into tomorrow. And as that happens, keep in mind, we're also watching the southern extent of the northern lights. There was a fairly big solar flare, and that's going to push those very bright skies down a little bit further south. So hopefully tomorrow night, we can keep the clouds out of here long enough to see it. Look in the northern sky as we get into the nighttime hours, and you'll hopefully be able to see some of those green and red ribbons uh, that so uh, normally mark that uh, northern lights a little bit further north than what we would typically see. So lows tonight going to 30 degrees and we will be seeing 29 for an official low temperature. Again, these clearer skies and lighter winds allowing these temperatures to fall. Mid to upper 20s generally in the south zone for low temperatures tonight. And out in the west zone, we're going to see a fairly chilly finish as well, maybe holding on to 30 in Fenton and Flint. Remember, it's going to be the northern areas that are going to be the latest to clear as that uh, area of clouds moves out. So this is going to be one of those rare nights where we may have some of our warmest temperatures up in the uh, north zone, especially closer to Lake St. Clair. 33 in Lexington, 32 in Fort Huron, rest of the zone there in the upper 20s uh, down towards M59. Otherwise, uh, high temperatures tomorrow are going to hit 46, and we are expecting bright skies. This will be the brightest that we see. Not necessarily the warmest, though. Temperatures are going to inch up just a little bit more as we head into the upcoming weekend. Saturday, just plan on rain. Some of that's going to begin late Friday night. But Sunday, there will be some snow. It's going to be an early start with that 36-degree temperature there around 8 a.m. Then those numbers start falling down near the freezing mark in the afternoon. Most of the snow that we do see is going to be in the morning hours. But, Karen, I just don't think we're going to see a whole lot as far as accumulation.